And we are back uh, for the finals of the men singles. Uh, Aman Sanjay, India, and Dimitri Panarin, Kazakhstan. Oh, good start. What a good start. <laughs> Yeah, Aman Sanjay is really good with the flat shots as well. Correct. He's also quite good at the net as well. Like that? Quick, yeah. Good set at the net, good pass again. So Aman actually played uh, Robert yesterday, one of your boys, the one who will be playing the under 19. It was actually close one, 21 18 and 21 16 yesterday. Yeah, I think. Oh, oh, Nothing's wrong, but lad. In men singles, if you can get the net. Get the short lift. Yeah. Um, I don't think yesterday Aman uh, smashed like that. Yeah. But maybe he's got a few gears still to go. Whoa. That's a strong start, but will he be able to cope with the pace the whole game or much? But Dimitri will have to. We'll have to counter this before he's too far behind, 5-0 at the yeah, moment. He'll need to push Aman at the back, he's playing two flights for the time being. He's not lifting the, the shuttle at the back. Good net exchange. Nice cross, wow. <laughs> Very good. Good job. Some nice kills from both players. What? Yes, just, just inside the line. I was in. So in badminton, when the shuttle hits the line, it's still in. And caught up three points now, three six. Yeah, it was six love just now. Game is now settled a bit now. Yeah, like we said, uh, Dimitri had to counter that. But I think he has. Okay. You can take four or five points to to sum up your opponent. Sure. Oh. Good cross. A man is quite good at the net. Very good, good yes. skill. Um, I, I told my players yesterday, maybe first get him to the back of the court and you play the net first. Yeah. That one was short, but one more unforced error by Jimmy Tree.
quite a few in the first part of this game. Yesterday as well, Aman making a few mistakes like that where it's where it's out quite a lot. That's true. I saw that as well. I mean, at some point in the game, just a few mistakes from Aman, so he can be very good, and then sometimes it just yes. drops level. Just out. Yeah, that one was closer, but just out. Need out. Good deceptive drive. He did that yesterday as well from the serve. Quick attack. I think, like you said, Dimitri, you need to push him at the back first. And this will thank you, dominate him at the back. Because as soon as a man controls the net, it's much indeed, so it will be difficult for Dimitri. Yeah, so you have to expect those flat shots, wait for them. Yeah. Exactly like that. Yes. <laughs> And now he's, he's taking him on at the net. <laughs> Good confidence from him. Just one point away now. Watching the replay. Oh. At the body. We're having some better rallies now. Oh. Go! Oh. That was close. The players are sweating a lot, and that's the heat you were saying earlier. Just touching the line there. Good call by the line. It's important to stay with your opponent and not let them get too much of a lead. Oh. 
So now a six point lead again. It's just 11 10 uh, minutes ago. Yeah, I was talking to Aman from India yesterday and he said it's the, the heat is the same in India but they have AC they have aircon in the hall. So it's it's hot and you sweat, but you don't have that that tiredness because of the heat. Yeah, and it's also the humidity here as well. Benin is a, a coastal uh, nation and we're very close to the beach. The humidity is quite high, high as well. Yeah, the left too short, not to the back of the court. Um, and in badminton, small margins make a huge difference. Okay. Still a six point lead, so once you've worked hard for that lead, you just have to keep it. See what uh, Arman will do. Dimitri is quite young, huh? He looks young. He don't have his age here, but he's still young. Yeah, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's number one in Kazakhstan at the moment. Dimitri is here with his coach. Take the first game. He started strongly, then Dimitri came back. He couldn't cope with the pace of the man in the end. Yeah, like I say, we don't know how many gears Aman still has. Um, it wasn't too long of a first game, so if he can do the same, he can keep that pace. Aman is on his way to Latvia after this. Is it? So that is what we say, you know, they they play these tournaments almost every weekend. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, that's the chance that most developing countries have. I mean, you have uh, good tournament structures with leagues every week, and all sorts of tournaments traveling around. Uh, that's something uh, which, you know, Africa needs to have too. Yes. Opportunity for players to play more tournaments, to get exposed to different levels, different layers, get the exposure and be more confident whenever we, we would be playing, you know, PW tournaments or African tournaments. Because in in any country, once you become the best, you stagnate. No one pushes you anymore. You have to play outside of the country then. Exactly. This is what we saw with uh, Jacob yes. a few years back for South Africa. Jacob Malieka, who participated, qualified and participated in the last uh, Olympic Games in uh, Rio. Actually, not the last one because we just finished Tokyo. <laughs> uh, and he actually won a match. Yes, yeah, that's nice. In our days, that was just knockout. 
thanks for coming. Yeah. <laughs> now they play two or three games in a in a group first. It's a group phase and then they out. So you do have the opportunity to play more than one match. Yes. <laughs> have a second chance. Yeah. The first uh, African player who won a match at uh, the Olympics. Do, do you know who it was? Uh, Hadia? Yeah, who it was, exactly. <laughs> it was in Beijing in 2008. The, well, unfortunately, this time, though we qualified players in the five events, uh, we couldn't manage to, to win a match. Yeah, important for the court to be dry, we don't want any injuries. Mm. Is, uh, for the first time ahead in this match. Deceptive rock. The under 15 countries that are here are having a training camp at the moment. And what they are working on this three days is deception. Yeah, you're right. You said it. Actually, we do have um, a training camp for the kids who will be playing the All Africa under 15 championship. As from tomorrow, um, and yes, I mean, obviously, the objective of the camp is to get the kids together for them not only to, to learn a few things but also to have fun. And that's the spirit we want in Africa, like you said, the, the future is there. Uh, helping the kids, yeah, you know, you make you build relationships, and they can now build those relationships for the next 10 years. Exactly. Like we did, Chris. <laughs> so actually, the draw um, of the team event uh, for the under 15 will be held today after the opening ceremony. The ceremony will be held after the finals, uh, the prize giving of the finals today uh, in Wida in Benin. And then right away we'll have the team managers meeting and the draw of the team event. You have the opportunity to watch uh, all the matches for the under 15 and the under 19 championship. So stay tuned as from tomorrow for the team event on, of the under 15. Let's get back to our match. Still a two point lead for Dimitri. Yeah, like I said, the one that can get the net like, like that. You make a mistake, oh, it's good enough. And then a deep enough lift, then you can defend the smash. But on this level, if your lift is too short, they can, they can kill it. If it's too short, then you have three two. He anticipated that one. That's it, yes. So wait for that, wait for the flat shots. Yeah. That's a good lift. Yeah, also when it's a good lift you don't need you don't smash from the back. Um, 
so we can see a man then only plays drops. Sure. Oh, good pass, pass. That was up. Looks like uh, Dimitri is trying to get at the net earlier than Aman. He's anticipating a lot of. Yes, I'm still having a lead in this game. Short again. Good follow up, um, Aman. Good follow up. Um, that is something that I see the players today don't follow on good shots um, and you know Martin Frost one of our former national coaches taught me that you know you, you are releasing the pressure you put the pressure on and then you release again so a man leading 11 10 at the interval yeah, yeah. actually two points behind uh, at uh, 8 10 and now 11 10 you mentioned Morton, Morton Cross, uh, Chris, so, and, and he was actually the South African coach. It was what twenty years ago now. Yes. <laughs> so how was it? Can training? you can you believe it? <laughs> how was it training under him? Huh? Yeah, you know, then I was a, a twenty or an eighteen year old um, training under Morton, a former world number one. Um, so. You know, learned a lot from him off the court as well and how to prepare for tournaments. And, you know, we were top top in the country, but Morton still beat us, you know, a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you when you go to the All England and he gets into that in, yeah. environment again. Yeah, then he yes, beats yeah. us in the, in the training court. <laughs> <laughs> but indeed, I mean, you, you were quite strong at that time and he did help... Uh, not only to, um, I mean, not only the youngsters, but also to build a structure, um, and, and this is why I mean you were top uh, in the continent for quite some time. Yeah, like like Morton, uh, never won a world championships, um, but was world number one for so I years. think thirteen years in the top three. Yeah. Um, <laughs> At what happened? That one was called out. Yeah, I, th I think the shuttle landed out, but it was called in. And a man is complaining to the umpire. And the umpire is calling the referee now. But he was clearly out. Yeah, I think, I think in Africa, you know, we talked about the players the whole time, but the coaches and the technical officials, we also need to look after. Exactly. Um, maybe not so experienced. Maybe the shuttle comes faster than what they are used to. True, true, true. But, I mean, that was obviously. Um, an issue I would say to be frank for so many years. Right? Now I do have a lot of training courses. Um, but like you said, I mean players need exposure but also the technical officials. So if they don't have tournaments every week and or every month, so it will be tough for them to, to keep up uh, with their level. But actually right now um, we, during, I mean, just before and during this, this uh, tournament, we are having a, a technical official course, an umpire's course, and there will be an assessment uh, uh, during the under-15 and under-19 championship. 
There are some training going on. Yes, but yes. It will take time, you know. It will take time. So Aman is still complaining, huh? So I think uh, it does not help to call the ref. The umpire can overrule. Uh, is that not what the law says? That well, the, the umpire can overrule a call if they could see it. Otherwise, yeah, what the yeah. line judge exactly. says. So you have to be clear, and then the, the umpire can overrule it. Totally, um, also the referee cannot help. It's the point of, the, of, uh, of law, then the referee can. But if it's just uh, either a call of in or out, obviously the referee cannot help in this case. Twelve, eleven for. So now this is what the experience we were talking about. You ca cannot let stuff that like this influence your game. Exactly. Let's see his reaction. <laughs> Let's watch this one again. Oh, I was quite close. Pulled in by the line hit. So some justice for a man. <laughs> <laughs> Divine justice. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve now for Dimitri. Good lift. Yeah. It was expected. We saw that coming, didn't we? Find, finding your depth in in badminton is very important to play to the back of the court. Especially at this level. Three points now where it was short. Man is getting the upper hand early in this game, just like the first game. The Olympic men's singles final was absolutely brilliant where Victor Axelson and Chen Long showed, you know, perfect control, hitting it to the back of the court, taking the net. Exactly, it was a brilliant game to watch. And also I think it was a well-deserved win for Victor. And none tried everything in that game, but eventually he couldn't do anything. <laughs> Good push again. Good point here now. So this is also what I, I want to coach or teach the players is you don't play the same pace throughout the game. We can clearly see Aman is now pushing a little bit harder. Three point lead quickly. Yeah, he has changed the pace of the game, and that's why I thought he is a few points ahead now. Quite clever. And he wants to finish this match. Yeah, just an unforced error there, but you can clearly see, you know. All of a sudden, go and smash again, and it works. So you play different pace, even in a rally. Yep. 
um, but also in a game close to 11, I, I always say, and close to 21, then you push a bit harder. He's getting into Dimitri's head now. He's almost there. Yeah, you have to counter this. You have to change something. Again, four point, le four point lead now. So that was a good lift again. Uh, he was quick at the net, good net shot. We should have expected that. <laughs> that step backward was. So, match point for Aman Sanjay from oh India. Local supporters for Aman. <laughs> yeah, the crowd enjoying this this type of games. One down, three to go for Dimitri. <laughs> yeah, saved one match point. Please stop me. <laughs> it, it looks like you won the Olympics. Wow! <laughs> Indians are fucking here in Benin. Yeah, the crowd is. Right. <laughs> Well done, Aman. It's a good game, please. Yes, good game of pace, skill at the net. You know, talking about Morton again, you know, you, as a player, you develop your skill and your fitness, but I think the last one and maybe the most difficult is tactics. So when to now hit that shot and, like I say, when to push in a game. Yeah, and it's also good to see that, you know, some youngsters here, your players here, other kids here, you know, watching this type of game, learning a lot. Uh, congratulations, Aman, for your game. Uh, second set was quite tough. So, guys, just we need to know, how do you feel about the game today? The second set was uh, pretty tough. I played some badly, but I'm very proud. I won my first international title. Yet a gold medal for my country is my biggest achievement. I'm very, very happy for that. So I, uh, Also, we have here a lot of fans from uh, India and uh, they're giving you a lot of support and huge, huge encouragement. So what do, what do you want to tell them now? So I'm, I'm very grateful. I didn't knew there were Indian people here, but they came from a match from so long from the city. Really grateful for all of them. Their, their support helped me a lot. With their support, I could win today. If they were not there, it would have been very, very much tough. Yeah, thank you. And uh, what is your plan for the next? Now next, I have three tournaments lined up, Latvia, Greece and Ukraine. But my plans for this year are hopefully to get into top 150 or top 100 in the world. So I'm working towards that very hard. Yeah, congratulations again. Thank you so much. Thank you.